Today I'm going to show you how to do the basics of Minimator. So first you want to download it and then you'll have a screen like this when you load it. First you want to create a new project and then you can name it. Then you can, in the project properties, you can rename it and change the resolution 1920 by 180 is the best. And you can also change the location. Here's where all the items will be stored. Uh, and you can create a new template, which is just one of these things. You can change the background. You can import a custom image for the sky. You're probably not going to do that, though. Uh... You can show the sky or you cannot. You can change the texture of the sun, the moon, and what the moon looks like. So will it be a waning gibbous and all this different stuff. You can change the time by clicking and dragging. It's day and night, day and night. I'm going to keep it as day. And you can like change the moon, the rotation of the moon and the sun. You can increase the sunlight range and you can make it so the sun's shadows will not be rendered from the camera's position. Uh, but if your cat, you probably can, you probably will have moving cameras, so you probably should untick that. You can increase or decrease the sunlight strength. You can desaturate night, so basically desaturate areas where there's not light. Uh, you can sh make clouds not there or there, and choose different types of clouds. You can also change the texture, the speed, where they are, how big they are the height of them, how thick they are uh, and the clouds offset you can hide the ground as well and you can also change what the ground has at the bottom you can also change texture packs the biome then we can see if we go into a savanna the grass has changed because it's different in that biome we can change the colour of the sky, the clouds, the sunlight ambient which is like of the unlit areas and night you can also hide fog so if you look at the sky it's just become one color it hasn't like faded to it we can enable wind and increase the speed and the strength of it we can put on opaque leaves but you have to reload the project to see the changes and down in resources uh, we can see what resource packs so texture packs and we can add a new one here Okay, now I'm going to show you this workbench. So you can click and import a character or a mob. Then you can import a human. If you pick Alex, she'll have thinner arms and obviously be Alex. You can then also choose a skin and import one or download from Minecraft loser. So let's say Shrek. Get skin. Now this isn't the act. This, so there's a username out there called Shrek. And this is their skin and we've got it right in the game right here. We can import a piece of terrain from the world. So I've already imported it here, but if you click import from world, you can choose your world, choose the dimension, and then it's just gonna load in and wait for it, wait until you can actually see the world. Okay, now it's imported, let's click done. Then you can just press create here, and now we've got the little bit of land that we can use for our animation. We can then import any item here. You can also make it face the camera, bounce, spin, all this other stuff. We can import different blocks, also special blocks. You can also import an, any body part of any character, including a piston and all this other heads and stuff. We can import different particles. So if we create the particle, we can see it's going. And in settings, we can move it around, make it go up change the color so you can make it kind of red change the mix color and then we can change the percentage up and it will start being the color we chose you can freeze the particles so they're still uh, you can also make them not visible by unticking this button then we've got a light this one's basically does a light 360 around you so we can change the position how strong the light is and what colour it will be and if it's visible or not uh, we can also make a spotlight which will be a concentrated light which we can rotate and face against certain people which works similar we can also import text like here so you can make it 3D and face the camera 
and if we click on it we've got all the position and rotation things we can do move it around the scale uh, and then we can also put the text in as well we can also import different shapes they're basically what you expect different shapes that you can move around and different stuff you can also import a camera uh, that you that will be able to see through also add an audio track to record audio so say we want to move character so you want to move Shrek right here we select him on the timeline and we double click where, which makes a key for him then we, so that's point A then we can double click and go to point B and then move him a bit forward so now if we play he moves forward also if you select both of the keyframes you can change the way he gets there so this one's weird you see he mo he swings back and forth and if you double click on point A you can make him walk by clicking this button and also make him run in as well uh, instead also change his skin midway through so we can make it Steve instead now and also change the position so for example with camera we can see we've got the camera here we cl double click and then we make a good uh, movement of Shrek right here then we go to where Shrek ends oh here and then we move it forward and rotate towards him right there so we can see him doing his movement and you can see just by clicking here and changing his skin he changes midway through he starts as Shrek he hits that point becomes Steve then hits this point and then becomes Shrek again okay down here you can create a new folder where you can put different uh, things inside all this stuff here that like so it's like in different sections which can be quite useful uh, you can duplicate selected objects so I duplicate it now you see the water's darker uh, that's just because there's two of them and now I've got a bigger selection of water really easily uh, I can delete the cube or whatever item I select I can save the selected objects as a separate uh, thing we can also click on the keyframes and copy them cut them so it copies it but also makes it disappear delete them and we can also export them to themselves as well okay up here we can create a new project we can import something that we've already got like this and we can choose if it's a skin, a sheet, a, like an item, a block, a particle or a texture like a texture pack we can open an existing project, save the current project uh, we can save it as a new copy so if we're going to make any drastic changes we still got that to go back we've also got rendering so we can change the frame rate, the quality, the format, mp4 is probably the best uh, what what the size is if it should include audio and hidden objects and all that stuff you can also export the current frame as an image file and if we remove background we'll only have like uh, the water all the characters down on the side of the timeline we can also include hidden objects so if you click on a keyframe and unclick visible as soon as it hits that keyframe it will disappear but if you if you untick that if you tick that then you'll be able to see it and you can put high quality rendering you can also you've got the camera here if we press it it disappears also in settings uh, we can choose the minecraft version we've got 1.18 fps interface all this stuff the colors and this is basically how the program runs the co the controls and that stuff so if there's anything you can uh, if there's anything you need to like fix or that you want to check something it will probably be here now also uh, if we make another character let's just have Steve here uh, if we click and then put him here let's just make him go up we can also drop down and select his arm so if we select his arm we can double click go along here 
and then we can obviously if we select that here we can make it bend so his arm bends like he's holding an item we can obviously also rotate it and move it just like so you can also change the skin so he's got a shrek hand which could be like a cool zombie possessing motion thing you can also turn you can also turn on water and lava wave animation uh, and also make the bending style blocky also put camera effects and all the stuff that you can change that explains it itself and for the audio basically just click on it then create the audio track if we click on it down on the side you can name it you can also uh, make it uh, like so we can put it to uh, Steve so it's like Steve's kind of saying it and it's connected to him you can also add a sound that we've downloaded and you can also use a voice recorder to if you want to have a voice on there so that's the end of the video guys hope you enjoyed but I'm AGS and I'm signing out